Hello guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to force a jump on the character inside Roblox. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. The first way we're going to do it, we're going to put it inside a touch event of a part. This is the part right here. You can see the part has a script. It has a touch event. And when somebody touches the part, we're going to check to see if it is a player, so we're looking for the humanoid object inside the character. If it is a humanoid, we know it's a player. And then we're going to change the humanoid.jump, which is the jump property of the humanoid object. It's a Boolean value, so if we set that to true, it's going to force the character to jump. Now this property is not replicated, so you would have to do this inside a service script. You cannot do this inside a local script. It's not going to work. So basically here I'm forcing the jump and then I'm going to wait for two seconds and then I force another jump. And then we're going to repeat the process every two seconds. Let's play and take a look. I'm going to go look for the part. So right here, if I touch it, it forced a jump. And then after that, every two seconds, it's going to force another jump. All right, so this is one way to do it. Again, you would have to do this inside a service script. Now, the question is, how do you do this inside a local script if you need to do it inside a local script? One way to do it would be to fire a remote event from client to server, and then have the server side execute the job. Another way to do it would be, I'm gonna show it to you right now. We're gonna go inside the starter player Startup character scripts. I have a local script. Inside our local script, we're getting the player, the character, and the humanoid of the, the character that joins the game. So every character that joins the game, we're going to execute all these. We're going to wait for 10 seconds. And then we have an infinite while loop. Every three seconds, it's going to change the state of the humanoid to a new value and our new value is this it's gonna be the humanoid state type jumping and that's gonna force a jump on the character let's now play and take a look so right now nothing is happening yet give it a few more seconds and There it goes. It forced a jump on my character. And then after that, I'm gonna keep on jumping every two seconds. Right guys, so if you ever need to give the character a hiccup every two seconds, this is one way to do it. Thank you all for watching and we will see you again soon in our next tutorial. Take care everyone.